my name is Tanny and I love to cook. Today is Sunday morning. It is 11 13 a.m. and I'm cooking Sunday dinner. So Sunday dinner always starts off with cooking early on Sunday morning. Hence the bonnet, no makeup, no jewelry. I should have started earlier today but I didn't so I'm starting now. Actually Sunday dinner preparation could start on Friday night. It just depends on what you're making but on my menu today I am having some barbecue ribs in the instant pot in the oven some meaty baked beans and some um, green beans made with smoked turkey necks and some macaroni and cheese. So it'll be simple Sunday dinner, but the family is coming over a couple of hours and so I need to get to cooking. So I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna wash my turkey necks. Turkey necks are less fatty than um, smoked turkey wings or turkey legs. So if you want less fat, this is a great option to get the flavor. Then I'm going to start making my uh, meaty baked beans. So I'm going to use Bush's uh, canned baked beans. I'm going to add hamburger meat as well as turkey kielbasa. So let's get to cooking. So I'm going to start off um, by washing my turkey next. Just wash them in basic water. So now I'm just going to add them to my pot that I have already boiling. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add some bay leaves. And before I put my greens in this pot, I'm going to take the bay leaves out because I don't want anyone to get a bay leaf to chew on. So I'm also going to add some basic seasoning to my um, broth. This meat is going to cook for about 30, 45 minutes before I put the greens in. This is just to season the meat at this first level. And then as I put the greens in and let them cook and taste them, I'll um, determine what additional seasonings I need to add. So we're going to do a little bit of onion powder. The amount of seasoning depends on what you like and how much greens you're cooking. So I'm not giving precise measurements here because I'm not even taking them for myself. And I'm going to add a little poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning is a mix of thyme, sage, margarine, rosemary, black pepper, nutmeg. It has a good flavor. I like it. That side never works for me. There we go. Tablespoon or so. Okay. So now I can add in my turkey necks. This is what a turkey neck looks like. It is smoked. Smoked meat. So we're going to get some of that smoked flavor. Um, into our greens, which is what we want. Another bowl to wash. Wash my hands. So I'm going to let that boil for a good 30 minutes. I'm going to put my top on it. This is my Capilon pot that I love. Next up, we're going to go ahead and get started on preparing our meats. So, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and turn my pot on. So I'm just using a, a big pot so that I can um, cook my meat and then dump my beans and my seasonings and then we'll stick them in the oven. So this is a pound of meat. I'm just going to drop that right in there. Of course, you know we're going to add some seasoning. We're adding onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, salt. So I'll probably add a little bit later. So I'll just get my onion powder, garlic powder. Oh, reach across the camera, get my black pepper. Wipe my stove, constantly wiping and cleaning. So 
we're just gonna cook this on a medium heat. And then next up, while that is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and chop up our Polish kielbasa. I probably won't use the whole thing. This is turkey, Polish kielbasa. Of course, I'd make it with beef, pork. I just use half. And I'm gonna cut each piece into half because my hands are dry already and that comes from washing my hands a lot while cooking. But I'm only gonna use half of this meat because I also have the hamburger and I'm cutting each piece in half so that it'd be easier chunks to chew on when you get it in your baked bean side dish. Just nice even chunks, nothing too special. Actually, I am using two cans of bush and baked beans. I'm using Bush's Boston baked beans. One can says a six servings. Huh. Feel like I can just go ahead and use this whole thing, so I will. You could cut these up into smaller pieces if you want to. It's up to you, of course. Your way. So I added onions as well as seasonings black pepper, seasoning salt, garlic powder, onion powder to the cooked meat. And next up, I am going to actually uh, open up my cans of beans and add them to the pot. So I'm going to let the beans cook for a couple of minutes um, and then I'm going to taste them and see um, how much, if I need to add brown sugar, which in my case, I use monk fruit. I am putting in all of the juice in the can of beans and I'm also leaving in all of the fat from my um, hamburger meat. Because remember, after we cook it in this pan, we're going to um, cook these beans in the oven so they're going to cook down nice and slow and I personally don't like the piece of fat that comes in the can of beans we have our own fat so we're just going to use that and we're just going to cook this on low and to start off, we're just going to mix in our meat. Add a few more onions for good measure. I like onions. So, back to our greens pot. It's been about 45 minutes that we've let our greens cook. vegetables are cost effective and they're usually frozen um, at a very fresh point. They're uh, cut fresh and then frozen. So I don't mind using frozen greens at all. If I can get the bag all the way open. Oh shoot, you know what 
I forgot to do. I forgot to take out my bay leaves. Dang it, I always do that. But as I cook and scoop up, I'll find my three or four bay leaves and just take them out during the cooking process. It's not that big of a deal. So we're gonna let these green beans cook for several hours. We'll check back in on them. And here are our baked beans. We're gonna let these go for several minutes. And we're gonna add mustard, barbecue sauce, sugar, honey. We'll just see what it means when that time comes. I am going to add the remainder of my cut onion to my green beans. Now, if you know that you don't like onions or the people that you're cooking for don't like onions, you don't have to add them. I'm putting these onions in raw. They're not sauteed or cooked in any way because as I mentioned, we're gonna cook these greens for several hours. So that'll be plenty of time for these um, onions to cook down and sweeten. These are my dahlia onions that are already naturally sweet. So it's gonna cook down in this broth on low and be absolutely delicious. We're gonna add more seasoning to this as it goes through the cooking process. Taste our baked beans and let them cook down a bit. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of mustard. Just gonna add a little tang tang. I'm also gonna add about a half a cup of um, sweet honey barbecue sauce. This is um, for the two cans of baked beans that we added. Since it's sweet honey barbecue sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of um, honey for sweetness. Half a tablespoon, and then we'll taste it and see if we need to add more sugar or monk fruit in my case, since I don't use brown sugar anymore. You can also see if you feel like you need some onion powder, garlic powder, salt, or black pepper. So just give that a few minutes for the sugars and mustard and barbecue sauce to cook down, and we'll check on it later. So what we're gonna do is wash off our meat to begin with. So the first thing we're gonna do is dry off our meat so that we can cut the silver skin off the back. So you just wanna take your knife and wiggle a piece of the silver skin loose so that you can take it with your paper towel or clean towel and start to rip it. That's what we don't want in what we need.
cut my racks in half to make them easier to work with. There we go. And this towel is going to go directly in the wash when I finish with this, so don't worry about that. Okay, because we're going to put these in the instant pot, we're going to put all four in at the same time so it will be easier uh, with them being cut smaller. We're going to rub the seasoning on both sides of the meat. So it looks like a lot here because it's on one side, but it'd be just right once it's time to flip it over and rub the meat on both sides. If you wanted to cut some slits in the back of the meat, you could. This is just gonna help the flavor to penetrate through. So we're just gonna let this sit for 10 or 15 minutes and then we're going to get our instant pot ready for use instant pot ribs okay y'all so it's finally time for us to put our ribs in the instant pot i did forget that i forgot i did forget that i forgot to add smoked paprika to my seasoning mix so i'm just going to add that on to my um ribs before i put them in the instant pot i did slice up a quarter of an onion and i'm going to put about a cup of chicken stock inside of the instant pot so you can use um, water if you want to or beef broth i have my trivet inside of the instant pot so i'm just going to drop my onions in i'll leave a couple to put on top and then i'm going to place my ribs inside the pot so that would be what i would have if i was doing one rack i'm gonna see if i can go ahead and get all four in here at one time and it looks like it is going to work perfect toss my onions in you could add additional bay leaf if you wanted to a little more than a cup, probably about a cup and a half to two cups. Um, a little bit more smoked paprika for good measure. Um, you could add dried mustard. I think I'll do that since I have a little right hand here. Just need some additional flavor. And then we're going to put our top on. Cook on high for about 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and do 40 minutes because I always put my meat in the recommended time for the instant pot and I always end up cooking my meat a little bit longer. I like it to be super tender so I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in at 40 minutes and it just turned on. So we'll let that cook and then we'll check our other food items. Okay so let's check our green beans. They've cooked down some. I'm going to add some butter. This is a little more than a stick of butter. And I also tasted these, so I know that I need a little bit more of all of my seasonings. Remember, we added seasoning early um, for the broth and the meat, but that got diluted when we added our 
Springs. So we're just gonna re-up our seasonings. Onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. A little bit of seasoning salt. A little bit of poultry seasoning. So I'm gonna take a handful, that might be about two tablespoons of sugar. And we're gonna add that in and stir it up. Now if you don't use butter, you absolutely could use olive oil to make it a little bit more heart friendly. I wanted to use up this butter, so. And that's the turkey necks falling off the bone. Oop, there go one of the bay leaves I forgot to take out earlier. And I just dropped it again. I'll get them out when I transfer this to my serving dish. So we're gonna let the green beans simmer down for a little bit longer and then they will be ready. So you can see my water is coming up to a boil. I'm gonna add in about eight ounces of elbow macaroni. I already added some sea salt to my boiling water. I don't like my macaroni to be dry with too much pasta. So for this 16 ounce box, I'm just using about half of it. So we're gonna let that come to a boil, drain it, and then we'll get to making our macaroni and cheese pie baked in the oven, soul food style. So I added in my milk, about a cup, and also a couple of handfuls of cheese, as well as my onion powder and some black pepper. And I'm just gonna keep this at a slow simmer until my cheese melts to be sure that the milk doesn't scorch. I also have evaporated milk that I'll be using in this recipe. So while my cheese sauce is melting, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, wipe a tablespoon of butter into my pan. And I may end up just breaking it into chunks and then mixing it in when I drop in the macaroni noodles. Yep, that's what I'm gonna have to do. So I'm just gonna cut it up with my butter knife. It'll melt quickly once the hot noodles are added. So my cheese is mostly melted. I added in a couple more handfuls just for good measure. Now I'm gonna add in my macaroni. And give that a stir. The reason we use elbow macaroni is so that the sauce has ample space to get inside of the noodle um, to impart that delicious cheese flavor and not just be on the outside. So we're just gonna stir. Then we're gonna add this to our pan and add a couple of more ingredients and it'll be ready to go in the oven. Some of the white cheddar. You'll notice this isn't a dark yellow because I used a mixture, a combination of yellow and white cheddar cheeses. I like to switch up the different types of cheeses I use just for flavor, just for variation each time. But it's really up to your personal preference. So what I did is I added about half of it. 
sprinkle in half of my cheese just to make sure that it's well mixed and you'll notice I do have some chunks of cheese when I get down to the little knobs of cheese I don't temp the grater so I just cut it with a knife to be safe okay so we're going to mix that we want cheese everywhere it's not too tight it's not going to be just pieces of macaroni noodles stuck together but it's going to be that custard that cooks as well as the cheese and then lastly we're just going to top it off and turns out I didn't actually need my carnation milk so it really just depends on how much noodles and milk you use to the top. smaller pan but I just went ahead and used this one. It'd be fine either way. slice that and put that at the bottom of this pan. happy with the flavors I imparted with my seasoning so this will be just fine so I'm gonna put these in the oven to cook while the macaroni is baking at 350 degrees for a few minutes and then I'm gonna put it on broil I want the meat to pull apart from the bones just a little bit more I 
I am going to sample a piece though because it is fully cooked. And let's see how this goes. Ooh, it is fork tender. It just fell apart, so okay. We're just gonna get a paper plate for this test. I cooked the macaroni for a total of 50 to 60 minutes on 350. I cooked the ribs after they came out the Instant Pot for about 20 minutes on 350. And then the last five or 10 minutes, I had it on broil to get this nice char on top, which is absolutely delicious. My green beans have cooked down after cooking for several hours with the smoked turkey necks. Very flavorful. And I left my baked beans on the stove top instead of putting them in the pan. And they were absolutely delicious, my meaty baked beans. And this mac and cheese is absolutely cheesy and delicious. I could have used a smaller pan for the amount of macaroni I used, but it really doesn't matter. It tastes absolutely delicious and it looked gorgeous. Like this is some creamy, cheesy macaroni that you want to bake in your oven, I promise you. So if you like this video, please click like and hit the subscribe button to help me get to my first 200 subscribers. I am on my way there and I just need your help. So thank you very much for watching this video.